Hello everybody, and welcome back to Time to Play. <clears throat> Ugh. I'm your host, Draven, and we are back with Simulacra. Uh, last time we were talking with Greg. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. So you're a shrink now? We want to talk about it. Why did she block you from her apartment? We got a fight, okay? How would I know she would block me? <coughs> I just need to check if she is at home. Still breaking and entering. Hey! You helped! You're not completely honest with me. <clears throat> Why are you so defensive? <clears throat> Sounds like you're hiding something. Maybe getting a, another woman pregnant? about that I'm sure I have some evidence on you another random thought what if Greg killed Anna well maybe kill is a strong word but what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up and all you hear from him is a lie Huh. Greg almost got someone pregnant. Holy hell, that shit son of a gun. That's, that's better than I thought. Worse, I mean, it sounds really bad. Who's the unlucky girl? Yolanda. Messy breakup leads to fight, leads to things got a little violent, leads to who knows. I think you should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg. Like a second opinion. <clears throat> Get straight from the source. It's a great idea! <laughs> That's a spirit. Now, go get her, tiger. Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda. Find the truth. Hmm. Now, Bruce House. Bruce, I liked Bruce's beard. No. No. Beard, bro. Hmm? Oh my god. What if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? Don't think about it, girl. And you can do it looking me dead in the eyes. He hasn't stopped texting me since. What? What does that mean? Does he still love me? No. Then why would he... He's a manipulative you know piece of shit. I hope it's positive. I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, he always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Don't worry, girl. 
Uh. Let's see. You're not allowed to fuck clients. Sorry, I'm at work. You're not allowed- Anna? Fuck this silent treatment shit! Oh, fuck, fuck it's it's so much! much. <laughs> I, get it. I just had to hear it one last time, man. Which was Ashley, I believe. Hmm. Okay, maybe not in the recovered, maybe in the regular? So, I walked up to her, played it cool, pretend to ask for her card and stuff, right? Turns out that skank buys stuff for other people. Okay, so f like footwear stuff. So where's like clothes? <coughs> Hmm. 
I don't. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Oh, I didn't look at this. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 to ask about being a patron. Press 3 to find out more about our latest promo. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press 0. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just gonna click. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. Press 3 for innerwear. Press 4 for shoes and footwear. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, please press the four-digit extension number. If you wish to be assigned to a random shopper, please press 1111. I don't know, I'm just gonna put in something random. Thank you. I don't know. Your personal just shopper assigned random. to you is Yolanda. Whoa, Due wait, to what? increase in demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Yo, I just quite Thank random numbers. Paris and Kane. Have a nice day. Oh. Probably should have, like, looked at this more. Hmm. I don't know, I just collect random things. I want to talk about Greg. Yeah, it's Greg Summers. Hello? Oh, hell no. That was a fucking floorboard creaking. What the f nah. He's caught up in some bad shit. Can you tell me about him? So we both agree on something. So we both agree on something. <laughs> Whoa, hold up. Time out. <laughs> Are are you telling me this right? I might have exaggerated a little. But I don't know what he did to her. Paul's to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. So you two dated? More like side girl booty call. So he cheated. Oh, yeah. I am all in for some casual fun, but having girlfriend, girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And I ended up being the other girl. 
He told me it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yolanda and me can get along. Maybe a little bit. Uh, at least towards our feelings with Greg. We both hate Greg a massive amount. I never seen a grown man break down like he did. Can't tell if he regretted almost knocking me up. Knocking me up me. Or cheating on her. However, when it comes down to making a choice, of course he went for Anna. And I get half-assed voice, voicemail breakup. Hey, Yolanda. I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Like, immediately. Oh, my God. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, huh? No hard feelings. Oh my god. Can we all agree that at any point, if we're allowed to kill Greg Summers to save Anna, we're killing him. Straight up. So he is a two timing bastard. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It kind of does. You have your dirt now. So are we done? At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. And everyone thinks I'm a bad person. It's not your fault, man. Not your fault. Not your fault. Not your fault. Not your fault. Completely not your fault, girl. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately, stupid me. I hope that was useful. I gotta get back to work now. Yeah, sure. Sure, girl. Do what you want. I miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell. What is l love? It love hurts. Is being there. Love is being honest. Love is being belonging. Love is patience. Mm. Love is Love just hurts. It's hard to tell. What do you do? Seriously, where is your head at? Yolanda just called me. I want him to know the full story. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I don't care about your excuses. You have crossed the line. She's pissed and confused, and you brought her into this mess. I didn't bring her into shit. I just wanted a full story. She goes back to work, and I go back to hating you more and more by the minute. More like by the second. But you... you, you <laughs> You get what I mean. No, wasn't my idea. I'm not gonna throw anybody else underneath the bus. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't my idea, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I kind of already got that. You dumbass. Yeah, it was kind of clear that you cheated on Anna with... Where was it? Sorry, I... No, it's not this. It's this three-second one. You're not allowed to fuck clients! That one. 
That's the, I knew you were a cheating bastard once I heard that one. Will you stop digging into my life and get back on track? Fine. But also, fuck you. <laughs> just stop and use your head for just one second. Consider that what his face from Spark is just dicking you around. I don't care. He seems alright. Come on, what do you really know about him? He did make a little jokes that she did like. Did he? Hang on, I don't... Oh, he kind of did. I won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. He is kind of eccentric. Especially with all his, like, previous texts. And his, uh, current one. Just a random thought. What if Anna is... Especially with these ones. Especially with his singing. Let's not forget his singing. Look what I found. It is talking about recent rise in spark related crimes. There's a link at the bottom that brings you to Oh. Oh, what's his last name then? Oh jeez. Okay, Taylor. Sounds horrible. But what's his full name? Nah, I heard a knocking to my right. Nah. Uh-uh. I didn't even... Okay, Taylor. Oh, but I don't know his last name. Okay, Taylor. <clears throat> 
All right. Don't know his full name. I don't know his last name. Oh, there we go. Hang on one second. Let me take a note of this. Weird last name. But I won't judge that harshly. Maybe. Depends. Not safe for work. <laughs> I just realized that. Or... Found six matches. Oh, shoot. Okay. Good lord, I have to get all this dude's info. 22. Guess Fine Studios. Location. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. God. It's stuck. Need a location. Oh, that might be it. There we go. From Springwood. All right, that makes it a whole lot easier. No, I don't need age. I got his age. Right. Here. Just 
two two. And he's from Whoa. Open and gross lewdness and incident exposure and public sexual indecency. <laughs> so all he had was indecency of exposure? Pretty much, yeah. A, a, good, a weird sum up. Guess my theory about Greg making Anna disappear is too far fetched. An asshole, not a criminal. Maybe. I need to look him up. I need to find out his age and where he's from to see if he has any things. Okay, hang on. Freak. Nice. That's not my intention. Like you? You're a pervert! <laughs> this a sexual offender? I guess it kinda did. You have five seconds. Yes, I want it short, but I want all the juicy details. You know what? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, we'll go on for a little bit longer. This will be a little bit of a longer episode. I want all the juicy details. Okay, so I was at the mall and had like a huge glass of iced tea right before I got a pee. And I got it pee real bad. The bathroom was closed and the floor was closed on the floor I was on. And the next one was really far away. And then, oh God, please don't tell me you pissed everywhere. So I went to the stairway and peed there. Then this lady and our kid came through the door. I was exposed. Next thing you know, lawyer were involved and I was charged. Technically, call me a criminal, but I'm another person. I mean, you're not wrong. A lot of guilty people have said that. I find that hard to believe. Sounds weird, but I don't like butts. This is not about me now. I have to follow so many strict rules from the not safe for work. Here's the final job. Sounds awful. I mess up straight to jail for me. Anything remotely illegal? Hmm? Why are you flashing? I have 
have to make sure Ashley doesn't find out. No, yeah. I can't completely guarantee it. But I'll try. What? I didn't do anything! Okay, well... Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this here. I it just saved. Thank you all so much for watching. We don't know why it's called Busted yet, but we will eventually find out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see all of you, hopefully, in the next one. See ya!